My name is Dennis Dorrance. I'm a Glendale firefighter, Arizona. Been here for 24 years. Two years ago, I really got shortness of breath, um, fatigue, and so forth. And I went to the doctor and got diagnosed with asthma. So I started using medications, inhalers, and all that stuff. Over the past six months, it was really bad. I, I considered myself to be in good shape, but I wasn't able to work out like I used to. I thought, is this part of getting older? I don't know, I'm, I didn't know what getting old was. I had my physical here at the uh, health center. We're always looking for better ways to uh, serve our first responders, as they're always looking for better ways to take care of the public. We're always looking for better ways to take care of them. They did the VO2 max testing on me, and that picked up um, uh, something that wasn't normal that warranted a cardiac consult, and I went to Biltmore Cardiology and saw Dr. Mackey. We've had a, a long relationship with uh, Glendale Fire. The emphasis there has been obviously on taking these very high value uh, first responders and making sure they stay healthy. In Dennis's case, he had had a, uh, what we call a cardiopulmonary exercise test and decided on that basis to do a coronary CTA. And what that showed was that he indeed did have a plaque in his arteries. Degree of narrowing has always been the big, uh, big concern. CT angiography does have some limitations in that unlike an invasive angiogram, you can't really say, is this a 75% stenosis or, or is this a 63% stenosis? It does lack uh, at least some precision in that respect. That's where the heart flow analysis came in and that showed us that there was clearly a significant flow restrictive lesion. It was really a two week uh, time frame from the time he got the heart flow study back to where I was in the cath lab getting a uh, stent. He got done with his cath and he literally was like skipping out of the hospital. It's one thing about uh, dealing with firefighters, uh, they're no nonsense guys and girls. They, uh, they want to get uh, to the bottom of things and deal with it as quickly as possible. When we walked into the hospital, I was walking up the parking garage, I was a huffing and a puffing. When I walked out of the hospital eight hours later, <laughs> I felt like I could run through the garage. It was great. There's no doubt in my mind that the heart flow analysis saved my life. I feel like I'm 30 years old again. I'm Dennis Dorrance, and I am a heart flow patient. <laughs>